Now that your trusses have been set and all purlins have been installed, it's time to install your roof wind rod braces. Your pre-engineered building kit utilizes wind rod bracing to stabilize and square up your building. Most buildings will require wind rod bracing in both the walls and the roof. In this video, we will focus on roof bracing. Each end of the wind rod is threaded to accommodate the half-inch nut that will attach the wind rod to the wind rod clip. The wind rod bracing should be installed in the location specified on your W drawings. In our example, we can see that the roof wind rods should be attached at the first and second trusses, located in bay number one at the right side of the building. You will install one wind rod clip at the top of the truss, just below the last web rod with either a half inch or a 5 8 inch bolt, washer, and nut. Your shipment list will specify which size is used. It's a good idea to install this finger tight until after both clips have been installed on the trusses. The lower clip can now be installed just above the first web rod using the supplied bolts specified on your shipment list. In this example, because there is a low eave extension, the bolt first passes through the wind rod clip, then through the truss, and finally through the eave extension. If no eave extension is present, then the bolt would pass through only the wind rod clip and the truss. Once both clips have been installed, tighten the nuts holding the clips to the trusses. Repeat this process for the second wind rod brace. Once both braces have been attached, tighten the half inch nuts at the end of the wind rods to adjust trusses to be plumb. Once your trusses are plumb, you may proceed with the next phase of your installation. Thanks for choosing Worldwide Steel Buildings. Got questions? Give us a call at 1-800-825-0316 or visit our website at worldwidesteelbuildings.com.